Hey guys, welcome back. I'm going to be going out fishing later and I wanted to make a quick video on this. Um, I, I know a lot of guys use uh, the smaller buddy heaters and stuff to heat their one man shacks or even the, the hub style shelters. And a lot of people are also bringing like a little camp stove and stuff like that to cook lunch on and stuff. But uh, there's a way you can use that buddy heater to cook on. And I just wanted to show it to you guys really quick. I'm just going to show you the uh, thing that I bought to use with the heat, the buddy heater to cook on, and then I'm gonna go out in my shack later and we'll cook, t uh, we'll just cook something on it, a piece of pizza or something like that. So this is what you need right here. These right here are uh, five gallon bucket um, paint roller grids, and basically they're just made to uh, go inside of a five gallon bucket like this, and you have all the paint down in there, and then you roll your roller on it to get all the excess off. Um, but they're all bent just like this. Uh, there's, they make a bunch of different sizes, but these sizes right here, the ones I use, um, this one is probably a little bit better if you're going to be cooking a bigger, like a piece of fish or heating up food for multiple people. And I use this one just in my little hub, my little uh, one man pullover. Uh, when I'm just by myself, so uh, I'll just go show you real quick how it works. So here's the buddy heater. I don't have the propane on it or anything like that. But when I'm by myself in my hub shelter, and I'm going to show you in a minute how I hook this into my hub shelter so it heats and cooks without catching anything on fire. So basically, you take the paint tray. There's a couple ways you can do it. You can bend these hooks so they're actually bent the opposite direction, so they're curled this way instead, and then you could have it so there's a little bit of a lip on the end so like hot dogs and stuff don't roll off you're gonna heat up hot dogs but I just left it the way it was and basically you, you flip your handle all the way back like this and you just lock that underneath the handle and it sits right there and then you can heat your lunch up and that works that size works pretty good for one person like if you're gonna have a can of soup or something and set it right on there or like a couple hot dogs or a slice of pizza or something like that. And then if you've got a group of guys, you know, two or three people, you can hook, cook up some hot dogs, stuff like that. Do the same thing with this bigger one. Fit a couple more things on there. You can see how it sits. It's, it sits really good. I mean, I wouldn't want to put a lot of weight on it, but that handle, um, it, it's got some tension to it, so it's not gonna flip up or anything. Um, so yeah, that's that's how it works. And like I said, you can bend these hooks the other direction and have it sitting up like this. So it would hook like that, and then you'd have that lip there to catch anything from rolling off. All right guys, so I'm out in my clam. Uh, this is the Kenai Pro Thermal. And I made a video on this a little while ago just showing how I have it set up and how I hook my buddy heater into it. Just made a couple brackets there. Slid right in there. Um, so, Take my grate out with my bucket, stick it on just like I showed you earlier. Got a slice of pizza here from the day before or whatever. Set it right on. Won't take long to cook that. It's pretty hot. See, it's, I don't know if you can see it, but it's smoking a little bit there. And that's how I do it. And uh, all you gotta do is if you have a little. Uh, hub shelter like this, you get a couple of L brackets from the hardware store, bolt them right through your sled and curl the end of it, and then dremel out the bottom of this uh, buddy heater and it slides right onto them and it sits right there and you can actually heat the shelter and uh, move it around, transport it just like this and it's fine. But yep, I'm going to have me some pizza, so I think we're going to take off here in a minute. I hope this tip was helpful for you guys. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe. We'll see you later.